I asked an AI program to write me a synopsis for the cancelled James Cameron Spider-Man movie, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. This is what the AI wrote back to me. This is the plot to James Cameron's Spider-Man. Unlike my previous entries into this series, this cancelled Spider-Man film has little to almost no information in regards to its narrative. Therefore, it will be much shorter and will often overlook crucial plot points which would otherwise be noted in the video. The AI will be fed the relative information which has been made available and create a storyline that it sees fit. I hope you enjoy. Directed by James Cameron, the visionary behind films such as Terminator 2, Avatar and Titanic, The Spider-Man, takes a gritty and intense approach to the beloved web-slinger's origin story. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio as the iconic hero, Peter Parker, and Arnold Schwarzenegger as the formidable main villain, Otto Octavius, this R-rated film explores the challenging dual life of Spider-Man and his alter ego as he navigates his high school years and discovers his newfound power. Set in a dark and atmospheric New York City, the film follows Peter Parker, a brilliant but socially awkward student who gains extraordinary powers after being bitten by a genetically modified spider. Peter uses his amazing abilities for selfish purposes at first, but after his Uncle Ben is murdered due to the repercussions of his thoughtless actions, he dedicates his life to atoning for his mistakes. As he grapples with his newfound abilities, Peter also faces the struggles of adolescence, dealing with bullies, academic pressure, and his unrequited admiration for his classmate Mary Jane Watson, played by Nikki Cox. Meanwhile, Otto Octavius, a brilliant scientist with a tragic past, becomes the primary antagonist in this story. Schwarzenegger's portrayal of Octavius showcases his physical prowess and commanding presence, making him a formidable match for the young and untested wall crawler. Octavius, driven by his own ambitions and a desire for power, undergoes a dangerous experiment involving advanced mechanical arms. The experiment would go wrong as a radiation leak painfully fuses the mechanical arms to his body, mutating him into the ruthless and deadly Dr. Octopus. As Spider-Man becomes growingly more confident in testing his newfound powers, his vigilantism draws attention from the public eye. The corrupt Electro, portrayed as a greedy capitalist, emerges as Spider-Man's first adversary. Utilizing his abilities to manipulate electricity, Electro becomes a symbol of corporate greed and corruption, challenging Spider-Man's beliefs about justice and responsibility. The film takes a darker turn with the introduction of Sandman, one of Electro's henchmen, whose powers are derived from an accidental bomb explosion. Sandman becomes a tragic figure, seeking redemption while struggling with the destructive capabilities of his newfound abilities. His complex ideology blur the lines between good and evil, making him dangerous and not to be trusted. The Spider-Man delves into the shadows of Peter Parker's life, showcasing the violence and grittiness that comes with his superhero responsibilities. The story also explores the complexities of his relationship with Mary Jane, who continuously chips away at Peter's hard shell. As the film unfolds, Spider-Man is confronted by his own limitations, both physically and emotionally. Spider-Man must face the combined threat of Dr. Octopus, Electro, and Sandman, putting his strength, determination, and intelligence to the test. The fate of New York and possibly the world is placed upon the shoulders of a 15-year-old child. James Cameron's vision brings a unique blend of action, suspense, and emotional depth to the Spider-Man universe, reimagining the hero's origins with a mature and edgy tone. The Spider-Man promises to captivate audiences with its thrilling action sequences, complex characters, and a story that explores the sacrifices and triumphs of being a hero. I'd be lying if I said that this wouldn't have been a spectacle to watch. With James Cameron at the helm, this had the potential to be an all-time classic superhero movie, which may have been looked back on to this day. However, it also had the ability to be very controversial and a major discourse to the standard superhero movies we receive today. An R-rated Spider-Man movie doesn't seem possible in this day and age, so I am definitely curious to see what could have been. Similar to Tim Burton's Batman movies, this would have been a much darker story to what we are used to seeing. 
Would a bloodier and more adult-focused storyline have fit the Spider-Man character on the big screen? Potentially. Whilst this cancelled story would have been interesting to see, I am glad it didn't, as we would have never gotten the amazing stories that have been presented to us in the years since. This is, however, just an AI-generated plot and will probably never come to fruition. I hope you enjoyed and leave a comment on what you think. Goodbye for now.